Hi there, I thought um, I would do uh, a bit of an update on the collection. I've had some, um, some um, new watches arrived over the last few weeks. Um, 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 three of them being in chronographs, um, four of them being uh, vintage and uh, a, a newer piece which, which we'll look at at the end. But um, So first of all, um, I got this um, um, the Dugina chronograph. German uh, company. It's a 70s chronograph. It's a chrome plated case rather than solid steel but saying that considering it's from the 70s it's in very very good condition. Um, it's got that reverse panda dial which is really really nice. Um, it's got the date um, it's six o'clock um, which means um, it's a 77 value 77 Swiss value 7734 um, movement. Um, I've recently had this service so it's been had a full strip down um, um, a full clean of all the parts in the service and um, that was done by uh, somebody in the UK called Bench Dweller UK I highly recommend him great um, great service um, um, he's done a brilliant job with this um, and it's all pretty reasonable so I, I, I suggest you look him up he's a good guy um, so yeah this this one um, as I said a very very good condition for its age um, it's 34 millimeters across, so um, it's that uh, it, it's the uh, the vintage smallness there, rather than the, the one of the big um, uh, modern chunky jobs. Um, and it sits really well on the wrist, actually. If I can just get a quick wrist shot, a little quid, but, uh, as you can see. So although it's 34 mil, it's not too bad at all. It uh, makes a nice change from some of the bigger watches that, that I wear. So um, got it on a Hirsch strap. Um, as I said, Dugina are, uh, are German uh, manufacturers uh, with the Swiss value 7734 movement. Um, I then got one which is actually a little bit more reasonable when I bought it, and you'll see why. Um, again, the same case, so different manufacturers using the same case in those days. Um, um, you can see with it being a chrome case and being pretty old that you've got the chrome worn off there. It doesn't, I think it adds to, to, to the look and the feel of the watch actually. Um, but as you can see, it's a beautiful dial. It's got that kind of tan, very light tan look with the, the white subdials. It's LIP, which is French company. Um, the, the date is here indicating that it's a value 7765 movement, Swiss movement. Um, you can look up the history of LIP, quite interesting uh, history on the LIP factory, uh, French, uh, French manufacturers. Um, again, I've got it on a Hirsch strap. Again, it's 34 millimeters across. Um, but I love the look of this watch, even with the wear on the chrome. I still still think it's a great looking watch. Um, at the moment, the actual minute uh, counter at the top isn't working. I think that's probably an easy fix and service required. So I'll probably send uh, send that off again to get serviced. Um, but yeah, and then the third one I got was pretty unusual because again, it's a chronograph. Um, it's got a val. I think it's a value seven seven three three because there's no date. Um, this watch keeps fantastic time. It, you know, when you wind it, it feels beautiful. It's a solid steel um, case. Um, it's actually very unusual because I believe it is a 70s chronograph again in the fact that it's 41 millimeters across. Um, so that's more of a contemporary type size. Um, I've got it on a, a beads of rice bracelet, um, something, a, a, a bracelet I already had and it, I think it fits, it, it uh, looks perfect on it and it fits really well. Um, so yeah, I really, really do like this watch. Reset it there. Bit of a problem with the reset. That probably needs a service as well. But other than that, the time-wise, it's running really, really well. So that's that one there. Then something much, much cheaper I found on on uh, on eBay. It's um, um, a vintage diver. Um, this one um, is is by a manufacturer called Canda. Don't really know that much about them. I need to look them up a bit more. Um, it's got acrylic um, crystal. Um, it's got a date at three o'clock um, it's a great looking little vintage diver I mean you'd go nowhere near the water nowadays with this for obvious reasons but I just think it's a great little um, a great little diver um, size wise that's 36 millimeters across so it wears wears quite well actually um, and, and as you can see that the, the loom on that pops I don't know if it's been re-loomed it doesn't look like it but it looks quite uh, quite bright if you if, if when I've tried it in the dark uh, the, the loom only holds for a few, um, a few seconds before it fades but actually in the daylight the, the green pops quite well um, and I've got that on a color strap 
And then last but not least, not really a vintage watch, but um, a reissue of a vintage watch. Um, this is the Longines uh, Legend Diver, um, a, a recent acquisition. Um, gorgeous, gorgeous watch. It's 42 millimeters across, which in fact the original was in the 50s, I believe. Um, it's got two crowns. Um, the top crown there is to adjust the, in, uh, the internal bezel, uh, and then that one to adjust the time. Um, it's, uh, what can I say, as I said, it's 42 across. It's very long from uh, lug to lug. Um, that's, I think that's around about um, 52 millimeters. It's 22 millimeters width on there, but it does sit on the, on the, on the wrist really nicely because of the, the way that the lugs come down like this. It's got a great engraving on the back, diver, diver there. Um, of the, the strap it came with is okay. It's um, it's 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 a, it's a plain black, what I would call a, you know, a canvasy type strap, uh, thin. But I've got again, I've got it on on a on a nice Hirsch strap here. I think it makes it to uh, make it pop a little more that brown. Um, now this one here, it, this is a no date version. Now the original that this is based on was no date, so I think that that's cool and it, it just looks really good without that. I think without the date window in two thousand and nine, they stopped doing this version. And, and you can now only get them with a date. Um, I prefer this and I tracked it down. In fact, I ended up getting it from a, a small jewellers in, in Italy, would you believe, via their, via their internet site. Um, and it, it was actually in brilliant condition when I got it. So I'm really pleased I managed to track this down. Um, and slightly cheaper than a, than a brand new one, but at the same time, we're getting it without, without the date window, which, which, I, which I really like. So, okay. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, that was just a quick update for the uh, for the watches I've had that I've received lately. Um, I did sell a couple, which um, um, you might have seen on previous videos, um, just to raise a few funds to uh, to uh, keep the churn going. So um, hope you enjoyed that, and uh, if you've got any comments, please leave them below. Thank you.